Assalamu alaikum. I am in Jinja, which is in Uganda, and this is where River Nile begins. We went out uh, in a boat to look at the actual source of the River Nile, and these are springs gushing out from the earth. You can see water coming out uh, from the earth, and this water is uh, the 30%, I mean this water, this, these springs actually can contribute 30% of, of the water to this river. This is the longest river in the world, and it starts here in Jinja, goes all the way up to the Mediterranean Sea, and this, the distance is about 4,000 miles. So it crosses Uganda, it crosses South Sudan, it crosses Sudan, it crosses uh, the entire length of Egypt and then ends up in the Mediterranean. This is a very, very historical river as far as we are concerned as Muslims because the Quran mentions the story of Musa alayhi salam. He was put by his mother into this very river because his life was threatened as we know the story. Fir'aun was threatening to kill all the male children of Banu Israel and for that reason his mother uh, put Musa alayhi salam into this very river. So it's a very, very historical place. This is actually where the river begins. And also the Egyptian civilization came about because of this river. If there was no river Nile in Egypt, there would be no life. There would be no uh, harvest. There would be no fields. And if there are no fields, there would be no life. Humans wouldn't actually, uh, actually inhabit that land. So it, it is because of this river that uh, the whole story begins in Egypt and then Banu Israel and what happened afterwards. A very, very historical place. So brothers and sisters, this is what we had to share with you today about the actual source of the River Nile in Uganda.